Hello again, it's Alan Gilbert, Transportation Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And continuing in our grid to ground transformation series, this being part three, we're going to take a look at a common problem that you may run into when dealing with grid to ground and just standard drawings, DWG, DGN, trying to XREF and assemble data together. So in this case, I have a uh, project going in Las Vegas. If I look at my settings here, I've got a standard state plane coordinate system, US foot east zone at 83. And I've overlaid some shape data that I know is in the correct spot using my FDO technology with the Matt Workspace 2 connected data. Okay, you can see the coordinate system for that data is UTM 83 zone 11. And we knew it was in the right spot. And it's attached. So then we may receive some DGN data in this case, or it could be DWG, doesn't matter. But uh, I'm going to go and uh, attach some DGN XREF data. And the data looks familiar for the area. Looks like it should be up here at this intersection. But it's not in the right spot. We looked at the coordinates of the drawing and just looking at the drawing except it looked okay because the coordinates are so close so what's going on here well in this case uh, the whoever delivered this DGN data was working in the uh, Vegas ground system so basically it's nothing more than uh, Las Vegas has a scale factor for that entire uh, geographical area a grid to ground and this is a ground file so all this data either was collected in ground and left there uh, but tied to pseudo state plane or either it was scaled. And we do have the control sheet for this data and we have the grid to ground factors here. There we go and the ground to grid reciprocal here. So we know what that uh, Las Vegas system is or Las Vegas scale uh, combined factor is given us by the DOT. So how could we resolve this so this would overlay properly? Well we can we can run some scaling, but what if I want to build my own DWG that takes that ground uh, scale into, into account so it will overlay correctly? Let's take a look how we can do that. So we'll switch over to another DWG. In this case, I have that exact same shape data. It's a different color, but don't worry about that. Same data, UTM 8311. Shape data attached. But this time I created a custom coordinate system. Now I didn't go to settings like normal here because uh, I can't make a new system there. So I can either change my workspace to map 3D and go to the ribbon that way to find this command or I can type in map CS library. Map CS library. And that's just a shortcut instead of having to change my workspace. So in here I'm going to go to user define because I already have this defined but I created a custom coordinate system. Well how did I do that? The Very simple, I went and found my state plane system of interest, in this case Nevada. There it is, east zone US foot and I click the duplicate button. So what that does, it makes a user defined copy uh, below here with all the same settings because I want to use uh, false northern, uh, false easting all that to start with and then put my scale on top of it. Okay, so it made a copy here and then I'm just going to hit the edit button to show the edits I made. So I made a duplicate and then I went into edit and basically go to the projection option and I multiplied the existing false east, easting and northing as well as the existing scale reduction times the grid to ground factor of 1.000177. Okay, so that says, all right, this is going to be a ground system. Okay, so I multiply times the existing false easting, put it in here, that factor here, and same thing to the scale reduction for these three fields, and that's it. So I just did a simple save, and then I did an assign and save the drawing. Okay, at that time I went and, and uh, connect it to the shape data which you see here and the last step is just to see if it works so to do that we can just do a simple XREF of that DGN data 
and because the DGNs do not have the coordinate system defined in them they're just whatever the coordinates are and they just happen to be in that Las Vegas ground city coordinate system so I'll just do a reload and we can see now with very little work you can see the center lines are overlaying perfectly so this concludes part three grid to ground transformations and issues running that you may run into when dealing with DWG DGN XREF data.